Hey, it's Ryan with Parts Doctor. We're looking at the Samsung refrigerator, showing you how to inspect the seal on the ice route flapper. If it is not sealing properly, it can cause excess ice and frost buildup in the ice maker or ice maker compartment. The first thing that we'll need to do to test the seal is open up the door and pour a small amount of water down the ice chute. Now, pour the water into the ice chute. With the water poured into the ice chute, we can now close the door and check for leaks on the front. If the ice route flapper is good, it will look like the one on the left. If the ice route flapper is bad, it will look like the one on the right. If the ice route flapper leaks, it'll cause outside air to leak into the ice maker and ice maker compartment, which will cause excess ice and frost buildup. Now we need to do the following steps to inspect the seal. At this time, you'll need to unplug or disconnect power to the refrigerator. First, we'll need to remove this Phillips screw. To remove the dispenser cover assembly, you'll put your two thumbs on the side and firmly grasp the ice dispenser hole on the bottom and pull it towards you to remove it. With it removed, pivot the left side out. There are wires connected on the right side that we'll need to disconnect. Next, remove the wire plug by depressing the retaining clip. With the dispenser cover assembly removed, we now have access to the ice route case assembly to remove that, we'll need to start by removing these two screws. With the two screws removed, you'll need to pull out and downward on the ice route case assembly to remove it from the water line. Next, we'll remove the wire connector by depressing the locking clip. With the ice route case assembly removed, we can now inspect the ice route flapper and the opening on the door. Check to make sure that the ice route flapper is still pliable and that there's not any rips or tears in the seal. If you have a bad ice route flapper and you need to purchase a new one, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You'll want to make sure that you're searching with the model number from the tag on your refrigerator to make sure you get the correct part. Samsung sells this part two different ways on different refrigerators. On some refrigerators, you have to buy the whole ice route case assembly, and on others, you can buy the ice route flapper as a separate item. You'll want to make sure that you check with the model number on your refrigerator to see how it's sold for yours. If you need to replace the ice route flapper separately, you can check out our other YouTube video that shows how to disassemble the ice route case assembly. On the door, inspect the area that the flapper seals against to make sure that there's not any buildup. If you have any buildup, use a damp cloth to remove it. With the ice route flapper inspected or replaced and the opening on the door cleaned, we can now reinstall the ice route case assembly. To reinstall the ice route case assembly, we'll start by plugging the wire connector back in. Next, reinstall the water tube into the ice route case assembly, making sure that the wires go behind the tube. Next, guide the assembly up and towards the rear to put it into place. Next, we'll reinstall the two Phillips screws. With the ice route case assembly installed, next we'll reinstall the dispenser cover assembly. Next, we'll reinstall the electrical plug by pushing it until it snaps into place. Next, we'll tilt the dispenser cover forward and insert the rear of it into the recessed opening on the door. The cover is held into place with six locking tabs. Firmly push on the edges until they lock into place. Next, reinstall the Phillips screw on the bottom of the dispenser cover. Now that everything's back together, you wanna to plug the refrigerator back in and test it out to make sure that everything's working properly. That's it for this repair, guys. If you have any tips or tricks of your own, let us know in the comments below.